I caved and I bought the palette even though I said I was not gonna buy any more palettes this month but here we are so welcome back to Betsy Heckle Beauty today I'm gonna review and do this beautiful tutorial for you on the Urban Decay Wild West palette this is part of their naked palette collection to be fair, I don't know if they really have any eyeshadow palette lines. If you're new here, I'm a wedding makeup artist out of Indianapolis, Indiana, and I started this YouTube during my boredom and quarantine. <laughs> so I'm very happy you're here watching this video. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment your thoughts below. I'd love to hear from you. So let's get started. This is the carton that the Naked palette comes in. It retails for $49 and you get 12 beautiful shades and brushes included. So this just became available in stores on February 28th, but it's been online for a few weeks. I caved and finally bought it and could not resist given all the reviews that I was seeing. So this is what it looks like when you open it up and it again has the same um, cool snakeskin pattern that you see on the outside carton. So I'm a big fan. I think it looks dope on the outside. So when you open it, you see all those fun crazy shades and really there's some good like cool tones in here you got your warm tones you got the shimmers the pops of color and I do like that this one is more mattes because I feel like a lot of palettes nowadays are just like very shimmer heavy but you can't always do a ton with that so I, I really love this mixture um, that's going on and it also comes with this nifty little brush which is nice you know you get the blending end and the smaller um, side there. I personally like never use these brushes when they come with it, but it is good for on the go and if you don't have a large brush collection, it's always nice to get a second one to put in there. Um, I did end up using this side during this look because it came in handy, but um, overall I'm usually not a huge fan of the brushes. I stay more towards my ColourPop ones. All right, I'm gonna do some swatches for you on the back of my hand so we can see them live in person because a lot of people will do them in like those nice little swatch trays, but you don't know how many like swipes they're taking to get that color. So I just wanna do it right here with you all. I've done a little bit, so I know a bit about the payoff, but I haven't actually swatched every color. So starting from here over, so we're doing Standoff, Spur, and Nudie. So these are the colors. This is Standoff, Spur, and Nudie. So they are very light tones. This one is a true like bone shade. This one's a bit more yellow golden and then this one's more brown top shade. So they're very, very pretty. I do like them a lot. They don't show up a ton though on my skin tone. Okay, moving into the next three. We have, this one is Hold'em, Cowboy Rick, and Loretto. Did I say that right? I don't know but very fun, beautiful shimmer shades. The only one, this one was a little chalky and took me like a hot second to get a somewhat nice payoff, but the shimmer shades are really beautiful. But honestly, that Cowboy Rick shade, I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. That was really pretty. I'm digging it, I like it a lot. <laughs> Moving into the next three, we have Bud, Rustler, and Ghost Town. I used all three of these in this look here today and I think they go really beautifully together. And finally, we got these colors. We have Whiskey, Tex, and Pony Up. So these are some really deep, nice shades. Very beautiful. All right, let's create that eye look. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a mixture of like browns with some deep teals, some pop of color. We're gonna make it up as we go, people. <laughs> I never go into this knowing what I'm going to use. So honestly, I'm probably not going to use this brush at all. Um, I will say they have improved. It is more stylish, but I just don't really love them. Step one, I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot. This is in shade Soft Ochre, and we are going to prime our eyelids. So just get a lot of product going on there. I like to apply with a brush just because I think it goes on smoother and just looks really soft, nice and natural. So I'm going to start off by setting what I just did with this really nice, it's kind of like a bone shade. And because I'm so pale, this will match me well. So just tapping it off and then what I do is I kind of just like to press it a little bit into the eyeshadow just to set it just a smidge. So to start, I'm gonna go in with this color, it's called Tex, and it's a really beautiful teal shade. And I'm taking the Scott Barnes brush. I love this brush because it's angled, so it can help you get that really pretty defined V shape. 
so we'll come. So we're just gonna pat it in. I really hope there's not a lot of fallout because I have the rest of my makeup done. So I'm just kind of placing it along the crease and I'm starting out really small. I'm not doing anything drastic or crazy because I have no idea what I want to do with this look. So I'm just packing it in the outer corner and just in my crease I do have more of a hooded eye so I'm not bringing it all the way up yet because we might do that with a transition shade. So again we're going into this eye, same thing. I like this brush because it gives you that angle. Then we're just patting it into the crease and making that beautiful V shape ish. You know it's looking a little suspect right now. So now I'm just taking what's left on my brush and I'm just kind of bringing it into the crease just a smidge more. We didn't add any additional product. Now I'm going to go in with shade Ghost Town and we're just going to kind of bring that teal up into our crease a bit more. So I got on a more of a finer detailed brush. Again, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it and kind of go over the top and blend in. Bring it inwards. Okay, not bad. And the same thing on the other side. Whenever I do product like reviews and tutorials, honestly, I try and use as many colors as I can or just make it kind of crazy because, you know, there's so many colors and I'm not one of those people that really films like five different eye looks at once. I like to just wing it with the one eye look I'm doing. So I'm kind of just going back in with that teal brush and blending it a little bit. Oh, it is actually kind of looking pretty cool. I'm digging it. I'm liking it. Taking a more flat brush, and I'm going to go in with color Rustler because it's a beautiful copper shade and it's just really cool on my name. It looks kind of dark on the brush. So I'm just kind of patting it in with the teal. I'm going to do it on both sides and then I'm going to, don't worry, we're going to blend these together. It's not going to look this chaotic. It is a really beautiful shade though. I'm gonna go on top of it with this color. I think it's Hustler. No, nope, it's Hold'em. <laughs> so we're gonna go on top with that. Just because I feel like that was a little darker than what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the color we were looking for. And then, honestly, I feel like a snake with these colors. They're really pretty. I've always wanted a teal and like goldish colored palette. So this, this is working out nicely. So I'm just kind of combining them, if you will. And then I'm patting a little bit more gold over the edge. I'm gonna take this brush that I was using before with the brown, just make sure that this is like blending nicely and not looking chaotic. So I didn't go all the way in because that's where I want to do this beautiful bud shade. So this one right here. So I'm going to take that. This is the ColourPop E28 brush. Get it all over there. Got that. So let's hope this works. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people when I see them do tutorials, it just turns out so beautifully and they seem like they know what they're doing. I'm like, did y'all practice this before? Because I don't. Oh, big fan. So I'm just kind of taking it and brushing it upwards, like out. This is really cool looking. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm digging it. It's a lot going on, but it looks nice. I feel like I definitely need to be going to a festival with this look that I'm doing. Maybe, you know, you can make so many different subdued looks going on. So then I'm also going to take that color bud. I'm going to do a little bit in the center. See what I'm doing here in a minute. Really pop in the center of my eye. And I'm going to take a little bit back of that ghost town brown color. Taking on a very small detailed brush. 
I'm just blending it. So I wanted to tie in, you know, the brown and the brown so it wasn't totally all over the place. We are gonna use the naked brush. So then I'm gonna take the shade Spur right there. And I'm going to put that, I'm gonna mix it with the nude shade. Nudie, what is that all right in here? I didn't really want to put a shimmer right there just because I have so many shimmers going on. I wanted something a little bit more neutral. I feel crazy, but I love it. So we're just kind of fine tuning some colors, kind of bringing that brown with what I have left on the brush over that teal, darken it a bit. So that's what we're working with. It's a lot, it's a lot of colors but I like a lot of colors. Okay, my favorite though is this teal highlight. This teal color is one of the main reasons that I did end up buying this palette. <laughs> Cause it's just so pretty. Let's put some more. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a reptile with this. But like, look at that. Look at that shine. I don't know where to look. I keep looking in like my little screen and not at the camera, so apologies for that. I'm feeling fierce. I'm feeling fierce. So I'm gonna go put on eyeliner or mascara, maybe some falsies, we'll see, and I'll be back. Okay, I zoomed in like super close, as close as my camera will let me, but this is the final eye look. So it's very wild, whimsical, you know, wild west, get my drift, but um, I think it turned out really nice. I'm really digging the colors. I think with this type of palette, you really could do kind of infinite combinations of utilizing the teal pops of colors in different ways, but also if you wanted just that neutral um, look with browns and golds, it has plenty of that as well. So this is, I'm honestly gonna reach for this palette a lot. I am a big fan. So we just did a little bit of a Pat McGrath brown liner. I didn't want to do black, anything too drastic, and then some natural false lashes. But overall, like that pop of teal in the middle is just, oh, chef's kiss, obsessed. Then matching it with the golds and the browns. Honestly, huge fan of this palette. So I was holding out for a while on purchasing this, even though I was obsessed with the teal shade, just because I've used the Naked palettes before. Um, I think one of my first full eyeshadow palette purchases was the Naked 3, which had those really beautiful rose gold tones in it. Um, and then I also got the Naked Smoky and the Naked Heat and like I like them but I don't use them a ton so I was kind of like oh do I really want to buy this it's expensive and you know you can probably get some really similar palettes for a cheaper price point but as I just kept seeing reviews come out from this I kept seeing looks I could not stay away just because I love rich brown tones I love 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 teal I really just think it makes my eyes pop I'm excited to do like a look with just really focusing on the teal um, and I also love gold so I couldn't stay away and having done a look with this now and also seeing you know the color payoff I do think the formula in this is really really nice um, none of the shades seem chalky to me at all which is always a plus just because sometimes I feel like they do I've seen at least in past naked palettes where it's just like the color payoff isn't like eh, stellar so all in all I'm really happy that I picked this up I'm obsessed with this color story like this shade cannot get over it I just love it so much um I think Urban Decay did a really really nice job on this I would say absolutely pick it up um even with the price point and there's probably dupes out there it just it turned out really nice and all the reviews and looks that I've been seeing, everyone's looks look fabulous. You know, whether they're starting out in a beginner or more of like a pro makeup artist, everyone can do some really amazing things with this palette. I think it's worth it. I would say go out, go see it in person at Sephora. Um, see if it's something that really is for you. I hope my swatches helped, you know, kind of show realistically what the shades are going to look like once they're on the skin. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, a uh, comment if you'd want to see any different types of looks on here. I'd be more than happy to pull together some tutorials showing different ways to use this palette. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you did like this. I'd love for you to um, be able to see all my future content. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!